My intro is supposed to get your attention. Hope this does. This represents radioactive contamination. Can you see that? Orange, yellow, pretty. This is your guest speaker. This is radioactive contamination on your guest speaker. We got any questions about that? Lights, please. Okay. See, my goal today is to motivate you, spark your interest about radiation, radiation protection, and careers in radiation protection. Pursue a radiation science career. Why? Well, take a look at me. I am the average age of your typical radiation protection expert. There are many people like me who are retiring, who are dying, and they're taking the radiation expertise with them. There is no new blood really coming up in that profession. But today, we have you. Uh, I started my career in the Navy. I was in the Naval Nuclear Power Program. And from there, I parlayed that into a, a power plant career, doing the same kind of radio protection functions. And then I used that experience to work at a, a research reactor for the DOE. And from there, I went to the government, uh, working for the Department of Homeland Security and eventually the CDC. So I have to get a poll here. When I say the word radiation, how does it make you feel? Show of hands, somewhat negative. I say radiation, how many people think, oh, that's a bad thing. All right, put your hands down. Show of hands now, a positive feeling. You feel good about radiation. Okay, the overwhelming majority here can say negative. That's the kind of headwind I've had to face all the time in my career. Well, let's work to change that. Let's make radiation interesting. Excuse me if I, okay. Okay. These are some common visual perceptions of radiation. In fact, the, uh, some of the tools of the trade are right up here on the, the desk here. They are big, various detectors. They detect beta gamma radiation, alpha radiation, uh, things like that. It takes many people, many hours, many careers, many professions to make these kinds of instruments. You've got material scientists, physicists, uh, and the like. Some examples of things that are common in uh, the radiation field are actually just as common to you and your, your house. There's bananas, they contain potassium-40. Brazil nuts, they contain radium. And uh, let's look at some common objects with a frisker. Can you all hear this? Okay. This, any Boy Scouts out there? You're familiar with Coleman lanterns, lantern mounds. They contain radioactive thorium, most of the older ones do. How about gardeners, anybody like to garden? All right, this is miracle Grow, And it contains, if you can barely hear the count rate increasing, it contains potassium 40. So it's also radioactive. How about collectors out there, antique collectors? This is a plate that you can buy on eBay. It contains uh, uranium in the glaze. So it's also radioactive. You've got household uh, items, uh, commercial products. This is a source from a household smoke detector. Every house has it. It contains radioactive material. Actually, it wouldn't work without it. So, why is radiation important to you? What kind of a career do you hope to pursue in radiation? Your career is going to involve explaining where radiation comes from. This is a brief, this is a slide. It's a good cutout of sources of natural background radiation. You get a lot of your radiation from inhaling radon. You're doing it right now. The uh, green piece on the slide there is uh, the space radiation. 
the yellow piece is what we just talked about, the food contaminants. The blue piece there is terrestrial radiation, sources of uh, radiation from outer bricks, concrete, things like that. We went over some consumer products, that slice right there. And the rest of the exposures are due to mostly medical. So you can make careers out of medical radiation, tomography, nuclear medicine, fluoroscopy, things like that. When we think of careers in radiation protection, we have to consider the risks involved in radiation. This is a chart, it's a graphic showing, showing uh, activities and the risk to your health in relationship to days of lost life. It's kind of a long list, but to state the obvious. Various causes include smoking, we all know that's bad. But if you take a look here, the uh, radiation exposure and radiation from nuclear accidents, things like that, are pretty low on the list. And then that smoke detector we talked about, you'll notice the number is a negative 10. That means it's actually, uh, you actually gain days by having smoke detectors in your house. And that makes sense. What kinds of careers can we get in radiation, radiation detectors? We can discuss Low levels of radiation dose, we can discuss high levels of radiation dose. We just concluded that low levels of radiation dose aren't really that hazardous. I suggest if you look on these uh, internet links for information about uh, higher levels of dose and radiation to start your research. Alexander Litton Waco was a, was a spy who was uh, poisoned by polonium 210, and the CDC actually helped him that investigation. So, I've been banging on careers, 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 everybody needs careers. Again, I'm going to stress, we're old, my generation is getting older, we need the youth to come up in the ranks, beef up your knowledge, apply common sense, and step up to the plate when it comes to response. This is a collage of various types of situations that involve innumerable uh, pathways in radiation detection. The top left is a picture of Chernobyl, reactor number four, it exploded in March 1986. You can imagine what kind of radiation careers are that. This uh, picture right here is a research reactor that's under full power, it's under a lot of water, and careers involved in that include reactor operations, reactor science, isotope production, medical research, you name it. This is a picture of the same reactor with people on it, actually. The reactor is shut down, the water's drained, and people are working in a highly contaminated and irradiation field very safely and very efficiently because they're trained to do it. This is a national response exercise due to something called a radiological dispersal device. Actually, two of them detonated in Albany, New York. Careers here are demonstrated by, well, you have physicians there, you have emergency responders, you have consultants, you have food and safety ex food and animal safety experts, and the like. This is a graphic of Fukushima fallout from the reactor uh, accident that happened in uh, 2011. It takes literally hundreds of people to make a product like this. This is a deposition footprint where the radioactive field is on the ground. This is just for fun. It's said that the favorite color of a radiation scientist, the color scheme is yellow and magenta. Those moths were uh, born in Oak Ridge, and they laid their eggs on signs, and they assume the color of their signs. So a certain time of year, you get a bunch of flying radiation signs at Oak Ridge. I'd like to end with this right here. This is a picture of a surface detonation on the test site in Nevada test range. We don't do that anymore, but the possibility of an illicit nuclear device detonating in a, in a uh, town in the United States is on the rise. It's on the increase. I don't want to frighten anybody, but actually those are the facts. This is some data from a scenario that could be very similar to 
something that could happen after a nuclear detonation in a town with the exception of the fatality number. What do you think it's from? It's a recent event, well, give it 10, ten years. I'll do the guessing for you. It was hurricane, and it was Hurricane Katrina. The uh, fatality number was about 1,500, but this other information here, millions of people uh, evacuated, hundreds of thousands of displaced, civil unrest, health hazard, infrastructure failure, etc. All this could be attributed to a nuclear detonation as well in a, in a small town. Say in New Orleans, we'll do hypothetically New Orleans, with the exception of the fatality number, which would be much higher. So imagine the response to something like a Katrina from a nuclear detonation complicated by radioactive contamination and radiation concerns. I'm going to display something here which will hopefully get my point. This, I know it's kind of small, but it's a, it's a graphic representation of where people went because of Hurricane Katrina. 1.36 million, I think it says, were displaced. So imagine that kind of personnel displacement, population displacement, with ground zero being right there, complicated by the fact of radiation contamination concerns. Well, that alone is, illustrates the need for radiation expertise. You don't only need the knowledge the experience, you need the, the uh, common sense, and we need the people, that's a fact. How can you get this knowledge? Well, you can do what I did. I did a little tier career advancement. I started in the Navy. I worked up to a power plant, and I, I went to school along the way and uh, achieved a, uh, right now I'm an advisor, a radiation advisors for the government. If something bad like this happens, radiation advisors from the government are going to be called, and trust me, there aren't enough of those either. So, in brief, we went through several radiation uh, scenarios, talked about the commonality of radiation, uh, talked about some instrumentation, talked about some response fields, and this is a, an outline of uh, careers. What's important to note here is the hyperlinks here. If you want to find out about the personnel problem in the radiation detection field, you should go Google Warp. It'll, it'll, it'll pop up. A wealth of knowledge about radiation careers exists in the Health Physics Society and the National Registry of Radiation Tech and Technologists. These are only a few of the possible links. Be very careful on the internet when you Google radiation because you will get unpopular opinions. These are some websites from the CDC. Everybody here carries an iPhone, correct? Some kind. There are actually applications produced by the CDC that can work on your iPhone that'll help you determine, say, internal contamination problems with your body. You can work them on your own iPhone. I thought that was kind of neat. 